Thank you, Soltech, for sponsoring this video. Hello and welcome to my no buy apartment makeover. I have to put that in air quotes because I did get like two new things for the apartment, but most of this video is me just reusing things that I already own. I got the idea to do this from the YouTuber Paige Wassel. I've just been really into my interior design era, really into interior design YouTube. If you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Gabby and I am an artist, but also a part-time engineer and also a part-time NBA dancer. So I'm juggling a lot of things and I mostly work from home. So it's really important to me to have a space that I love. So yeah, let's go, let's do this. It's time for me to say goodbye to this desk setup. I'm just in the mood for something new, so we'll see what it turns into, but it was really cute. <laughs> My apartment is naked. Well, it looks pretty barren. It's interesting to look at it as a blank slate, and I'm excited to see what it turns into. I hear my wall crumbling a little bit. That's a nail in the wall. Calendar. How's it look? Oh, it looks cute! This is my list the last merch. Pretty sure she subscribed to my channel, which is pretty much all the validation I ever need that I should continue making YouTube videos. My mantle is a little overgrown with plants right now and for some time I've wanted to move some of the plants above my closets. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about these lights later because Soltec is the sponsor of today's video. They sent me two of their LED bar lights. If you have like a bookshelf or something, you can put them in your bookshelf and then it turns into this like little plant nursery, which is so cool, but I don't have anything like that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to mount these way up above my closets and we will just see how that goes. But yeah, I'm just gonna probably jam out to some Megan and um, get these up. Okay. That turned on the light. Now I gotta decide where to put it. Here's a quirky thought. Side lighting. What do you think about that? Wow, it's dusty up here. I'm gonna wash my walls a little bit. One, two, three, 14, 15. Wow, okay. This is actually so cool. Three, four, five. I learned that I can dim them, which is super cool. Bum, bum. One, like that, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna move my plants. This pothos, I know I wanna move for sure. Quite, quite tall. She's on the move, oh, she's on the move. When I got this plant in college, it was like, it was a little baby. And now looking at how huge it is, that makes me feel a little bit old. I think there's too many plants up there. I'm gonna say it. This pendant light from Soltech for over a year and I was so excited when they reached out and wanted to sponsor this video because I genuinely really love their products. Soltech creates plant grow lights that are not only beautiful but also functional and they offer a wide variety of styles to complement your space. Their lights replicate natural sunlight which helps your plants grow during the winter months or in areas with low light. And I can honestly say that after a year of using their products my plants are doing really really well despite me not being the best plant caretaker. 
Soltec lights are also super easy and quick to set up. I easily set mine up on timer switches so that they turn on and off automatically throughout the day so I don't have to worry about it, which is great. You might know that in my day job, I am an energy efficiency engineer, so I super appreciate how energy efficient these lights are. And the quality of the lights is really, really nice. You can tell that they're built to last. If you'd like to get your very own Soltec lights, check out the link in my description and use the code TOFUGOOB for 15% off your order. Thank you so much to Soltec for sponsoring this video and keeping my plants and me happy. Cause I sometimes like to stand under this light too. All I need is like a fruity drink, like seagulls and waves crashing and I believe it. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> One of the things I've talked about on this channel that has resonated with people the most is boob pads. Right now, this is what my boob pad stash looks like. There is some form of security in owning a few pairs because I'm always like, what if I want to sew them into a dress? I've never done that. PSA, maybe I should start putting this in every video. You don't need 50 boob pads. You'll never use 50 boob pads. Comment below if you found a solution to the boob pad problem. It seems to be affecting a lot of people out there. Okay, so I brought you here to show you an example of what I've been doing. I went around my apartment last night and I put a piece of blue masking tape on things in my house that I don't really like or that I wanna do something to to make myself like it more. I'm gonna like give myself the whole afternoon, I think, to just walk around my apartment and fix things. So yeah, okay. The first area I'm going to tackle is my desk. A few weeks ago I painted this white and I think I like it white. I don't think I'm gonna paint it a color. So I'm gonna try to reinstall the shelves that I had up on there. Ooh, these are dirty. <laughs> oh, seems like that's gonna be a problem. Okay, I need my tools. <laughs> Pliered my hand. I got it from Target because I was like, everyone gets the pegboard from IKEA. I want to be different and get one from Target. I regret it a lot. I'm just gonna put this back in. Whatever. I was looking at the cover of this book the other day. Um, it's a art book for the movie Ponyo. I was like, wow, I love the color palette of this. It's like, let me turn this off. You got your bright yellow, you have some oranges, blues and greens, and there's a lot of art in this movie that I just really love the color story behind and I feel like it could really go with my yellow couch. I don't regret the yellow couch. Let me just say that I love my yellow couch. I got it from Floyd, if you're wondering, but it does propose a design challenge. It's not a neutral couch that I can just like design a color palette without considering it. I really have to consider this yellow couch. That's what I'm thinking for color palette. So coming back here, I have not had a color palette, like a set color palette in here um, ever. And I'm sick of having every single color in my space. I just need a little bit more calm, I think, for my eyeballs. So I'm gonna turn on some music and come back and see what this looks like. But that's my starting point. It's pretty cute. Really trying hard not to amputate my plant. Maybe it should go up next to, would that be totally crazy? This is kind of a quirky idea, let's see. I'm not super sure how to look and I do it. But I've seen people hang garments of clothing. I have, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. I have this bin of old scarves that I got, well, okay, this is a swimsuit, but. <laughs> Besides the hot pink swimsuit, this basket includes a bunch of scarves from my grandma. Comment below if I should wear this outfit out in real life. With jeans? Okay, I'm getting off track. I'm 
Look what I did. I gave my computer a little tie. <laughs> Best thing I've ever done, ever. This is what I did. Um, I love it. I think it's so cute. I have my Ponyo art book here. Since it is kind of like my color inspo, I thought it would be nice to just leave it there for now. I tried to think about like using things I already have to fix the design problems that I had. So I ended up hanging some gold jewelry here to tie in that gold mirror that I have over there. I left my switch and my controller out um, because I am trying to be more of a gamer in 2024. So I'm trying to entice myself to play the switch by leaving it up there. All three of these are paintings that I have made, which is kind of cool that it ended up being just those. I think I will put up one more art print though. I need one that's not too visually busy and I would also like one that's not another thing of flowers. I don't know, what do you think? This one, this one, these two are very green heavy, which honestly I don't hate. Dare I add another? Dare I? No, no. Hello, I changed scarves and I think the next area that needs help is this. It looks bad. So what I think I'm going to do, and I'm really excited about this, is I have a bag full of old bags, you know. I picked out the ones that are good colors and I'm gonna try to organize all this stuff under here. Also, I basically hate everything that sits out up here so i'm gonna try to fix that somehow okay. here's a better view. here's a better view of the chaos these are like super corny but i kind of like it <laughs> and these are some frames i would repaint them but i might use them i jumped the gun and i got rid of my old tissue box cover before i got a new one so this is my PSA, don't do that. Keep your tissue box cover, otherwise you're gonna be like me and you'll go two years without having a tissue box cover. <laughs> I can't tell if this is a good or a bad thing I just made, but this is where my tissues will be. I have bags with all my stuff in it now and then my new tissue holder. I had this plant right in this exact same spot, but not on this. I mean, like, it's not terrible. I think it's much improved. Get it though. I think it needs to be on this. I like that better. Wow. Okay, we'll have to figure out what to put there. Okay, never mind. That took me literally only like two seconds to figure out. I have this giant stack of books. One thing in my bedroom that I keep going back and forth on is like, do I want to use this like a little table? Oh my God, breakthrough. Okay, I have nothing on the shelf because it's so far down under my bed. It looks a little quirky. I'm gonna say it, I don't hate it. Okay, I personally feel like my bedroom looks the most different. So I took all my books that used to be stashed away in my nightstand and I displayed them I feel like this will make me more prone to reading. We'll see. And then of course I added this like DIY, <laughs> very unstable little table there. Um, we'll see, my plants might hate how warm this is. I, I don't think I can leave them here, so. I don't hate the eyeball mirror. But it has been there for a long time and I do feel like just like a bigger 
piece would look better there. Oh, I see. Wait, no, I don't see. Oh, well, I don't know what I did, but I got it off. I did this in my last video. Unfortunately, I do think I am going to paint over it. I think I just want to paint something that I actually like want to look at, like a, like a painting. Like I want to paint a painting. I literally can't be stopped. Like I keep telling myself to stop and do something else, but I can't stop. I just want to see what this would look like. I don't think that's hung properly. I'm just gonna leave it and walk away. So cool with the little eyelashes. She got extensions. I decided to cut myself off from the rearranging of my apartment. Um, I will keep updating you on what I'm doing around here because I just had a blast. I had such a blast doing this. I can't wait to make more interior design content because I don't know, I'm just really into it right now. I wanted to take a quick moment to thank my patrons. Their names are up on the screen right now. I super appreciate all of you for your support. I make exclusive videos and podcasts over there every single month, so go check it out if you want more content. I appreciate you watching into the end so much. Remember that you rock, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Wait, come back. Let's wreck these losers. Oh. Wow, that went so well. I'm gonna keep playing. Bye.